Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 4 after a couple months hiatus. I'm back. I decided to uh, go ahead and bring this Season 4 to a natural conclusion. We're going to go ahead and bring all of these uh, Kerbals that we had on lathe. Oops, I didn't mean to transmit data, but that's okay. Um, we're going to bring them back to Kerbin and we we may do more missions after that I'm not sure I haven't decided but we are certainly going to first bring everyone back from lathe we have these two Sean and Balder who were on lathe I uh, I brought them back up into orbit and now we're going to rendezvous them with the mothership that is um, also orbiting lathe and we're going to see if we can do that with only the 677 um, Delta V that we have left. So, uh, I'm not even sure if I have the right ship targeted here. <laughs> the probe is the one that had the fuel and the mothership was the one that was going to refill. Let's go ahead and switch over these right quick because I did do this. I remember doing this off camera and I wanted to point it out that... Uh, our mothership now has fuel here so if I switch to it yeah this is the probe it's got a little bit of fuel left I couldn't get that I couldn't get the connector to work to get that little bit of fuel out of there but I'll talk about that in a second but we did we were able to uh, to refuel this thing and so it will be good if we can use this thing we have two seats left I believe two empty seats for Balder and uh, whoever the other person I said was on here um, Ryan was I can't remember so we're gonna try to get them over here to, to this ship but first in order to, to minimize the uh, the problems we're having with uh, selection here. Let's go to our apoapsis on this thing. And we are going to go retrograde and we're going to we're going to take this thing down to the planet. Doesn't matter that it's burning. Woo! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> That was a little close there. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna come in hot and just burn up and die. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I hate that we're losing another two thousand meter per second of fuel there, but it's really not that much fuel. Crash and burn now, good. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to the rescue vessel. There we go. All right. So <laughs> okay, so now I should be able to select the mothership. Probe a little easier here. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, the mothership. And okay, so I did have it as my target all along. Let's go ahead and go to our descending node, and we're going to. Man, I can't remember the controls on here. And that, and that's something. Add a maneuver. It has been two months since I played, so I'm going to be a little bit rustier than usual which is bad because I'm uh, never was that great anyway so never was that great anyway all right so here we go we've got a nice leveling out maneuver here which I guess is what I was I had already set up previously let's go ahead and go to that all right so now we should be about on the same plane as our mothership so let's get ready to do maneuver here and let's just see if we can line up our orbits oh my so we got a lot of orbits that's okay we must be in a very similar orbit now as our mothership all right 1.6 that's not bad let's see if we can dial that in just a little all right point two it is all right so after nine days of orbiting lathe we'll be able to do this burn and then rendezvous with the mothership let's do it now let's go ahead and get to our target here 
I'm going to do this tiny little burn. 4.6 meters per second. And that should put us so that we rendezvous really closely with the mothership. Now let's look at our rendezvous point two. All right, very good. So we're gonna do now, we're gonna get ready to kill our relative difference in speed. When we get to about 30 seconds out from our target, let's warp up here. All right, we're about a minute out. We should have enough Delta V to get this done here. I'm surprised our relative speeds are so are so uh, so different. 137 meters per second. That seems like a lot, but I can't hardly remember. Uh, two months for me is a lifetime, so uh, you know, I'm just uh, flying by the seat of my pants, quite literally. If I had pants on. I've got shorts. Don't worry. Let's get on down to to cereal. And I can't watch the indicator because it uh, makes me nervous. So there we go. It says we're three point six away now. That's probably hopefully not true. There they are. Did I already miss our rendezvous? Yes, I guess I did. All right, well, we'll burn towards them then. Let's go about 57 meters per second towards him, let's see. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do right there. So let's get ready to do a burn. Retrograde. All right, here we go. All right, beautiful. Coming up quick. We could dock with them. Do I have RCS on this thing? If I have RCS, I could dock with him and give him the rest of my fuel as well. Not that there's that much of it. But there, I mean, there's some. So it might be worth it. Let's do it. We're going to dock with him. And uh, I'm going to quick save it first. Let's see what we got here. Monopellant. Uh, not, not a lot. I don't see any yeah I didn't put any on here that's okay we don't have to dock with him uh, we could try it I guess with without monopropellant I mean we could try just to dock old school see so have a docking port up here yes all right control let's see Docking port, set that as my target. Go target here. Spin him around. This is what I call lazy crazy docking. Because we won't be using RCS, we're just gonna use thrusters. And we're gonna point these guys at each other. I probably should retract these in case I miss, All right? Yeah, probably should. All right, so he's going to be pointing at him. This guy is going to be pointing at the stocking port. Bink. Oh boy. Very good still, bro. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Track that in case we miss. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh shoot, we're coming in quick. Coming in quick. Eek. Bank. Too quick. OK, 
Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn this suction on higher. Should have turned on that one too. But we'll see if we can get it done. And then we can transmit the kerbals over and any of the fuel. And we can just let the kerbals go EVA over there if we need to, but I thought this might be neat to try this. See if we can get her done. Come on, baby. Give him a kiss. Don't be shy. Oh, it's Sean and Balder. Okay. Okay, give him a little smacky smook. Quink. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's get these kerbals. Quit that. Stop it. Stop that. Let's get these kerbals transferred. Transfer to you. And transfer to you. Boom. All the kerbals are transferred. Now I'm going to transfer all the fuel, which... Uh, it's probably going to take a little bit of doing here. So let's do in for you. Because they have all these Oscars. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead, should we go ahead and um, decouple this and let it just uh, drift out of here? Or should we go up to our apoapsis and bring our periapsis down? Maybe we should give it just a little bit of fuel so that it can, uh, so that it can die gracefully here. So maybe, maybe so. Let's get just a little bit of fuel. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to decouple. Hopefully this is enough. 270, that should be plenty. Alright, so we're going to have to extend the antenna. Because it is now not piloted. We have to go to the apoapsis. All right. And we're going to. Oh, I should have. Should I repack my parachutes and just let it land? Nah, let's just let it burn up. <laughs> let's just burn it up. Okay, here we go. Is it, I'd have to wait until we got to a good landing place. Yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Alright, that should do it. That should put us into a death spin. Death uh, thing. thing Alright, so, uh, dee -dee -dee -dee, where's the mothership? Where's the mothership? There it is. Switch to that. Okay. Awesome. So that vessel is now on its way to its demise. Now we need to plot a course to Kerbin. I'm going to use the old astrogator here. And we're going to go to Kerbin. It says uh, time till burn one year and 183 days. Three hours and 36 minutes and 30 seconds. It will require 1,059 meters per second. I think let's do that. Let's create that maneuver node. All right. Let's take a look and see what it created for us. So it looks like we're going to be going out and then out. Ah, so it's creating us into a solar orbit, which then we will use to... Uh, I hope we have enough Delta V. Well, let's do it. I guess uh, let's uh, warp to that window. One year and 183 days. Rock and roll. 2,000 years later. All right. I think I should be able to do the burn. No problem here. So let's go ahead and get into... Are we out of power? Yes. We're out of, we're out of power. <laughs> After sitting here with no electric charge for over a year. Yes, we are out of power. I forgot to turn on my... <laughs> oh, and we could have been doing research all this time. Oh, well. Okay, well. Um, 
I guess uh, we'll have to wait and get some rays here. There we go. Got our uh, Gigantor solar arrays soaking up that juice. Should make us some good power here pretty quick. Uh, of course, I'm missing my burn window. It's a nine minute burn though, so I feel like 10 seconds is not going to make that big of a difference, but I still hate it. Okay. What was that? Flashed on the screen. Bizarre! Okay, well, I'm 20 seconds past burn window, but that we're going to do it anyway. Burn! Beautiful lathe, goodbye, and beautiful jewel, goodbye as well. Alright, coming up uh, on the rising of Jewel over Lathe and the end of our burn. And stop. Okay. Just burn this last little bit. Just there we go. Very gently, very nicely. Pink. Okay, now we need 590 in two years and 238 days. Woo, that's a long time. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and burn, or not burn, but we're going to skip to our next maneuver node, which is going to be way over there. So, two years and 238 days. Pink. Bye-bye, Lathe. Bye-bye, Jewel. Meow. All right, so I'm, I'm getting a little nervous because I don't see an intersection after this burn with Kerbin. So... <laughs> Um, what's the deal, Pickle? Well, we'll see. We'll see what it has in store for me here. All right, there we go. Now what? Now it says you're on your own. Uh, hey, buddy, guess what? We don't have an intersection with Kerbin here. <laughs> now it says we need another 2440 and 116 more days to get an intersection with Kerbin. Astrogator, you son of a gun. You done screwed me. Alright, we're on our first burn here. Okay. Well, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go ahead and let this first burn occur. And then uh, I'm gonna try to plot a more efficient uh, burn myself because obviously astrogator don't know what the hell it's doing astrogator now i remember why i quit playing kerbal <laughs> sitting here literally for five minutes while your ship does a burn is not fun it's not fun all right there we go Bing. okay so now instead of waiting for this burn here we're gonna see if we can do a get get a better uh do better be better okay so let's set this as our target urban is set as our target and let's see if we can set a maneuver node see how easy that was astrogator a 429 meters per second burn only 58 days from our original maneuver node and I've already got an intersection that's what you call Setting up a maneuver node, Astro Gator. Learn, learn, be better. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's obviously doing the best it can. Okay, so let's see. It's just not good enough. Let's see if we can get this dialed in. Now the problem is we're not going to be able to. Um, we're not going to be able to actually return these guys to Kerbin in this craft because it is. Uh, got no parachutes, so it's not meant to re-enter the atmosphere of Kerbin. So it will not. Let's see if we can dial this in just a little bit more here. Beep. 
How about a nice 250? 200 right there. Boom. Right in the midst of all that traffic. Come burning in. There we go. 429 meters per second. That will leave me with about 900 left. Hi, yeah, yeah. I don't know if 900 is going to be enough to, to stop us. I'm going to do a quick save now. And then uh, we're going to do this burn. And then uh, we'll see. We may have to do an, a little bit of an arrow capture to slow us down, but I'm, we're going to be going pretty fast, so I'm afraid uh, not, we might burn up. So let's see what we got here. Uh, did I lose my intersection? Yes, I did. What the heck? God, Kerbal? Jeez. All right. After all that effort, it just randomly makes me lose my intersection. All that passed was, was time, but there's no burning made. It's just annoying. And what's the point of setting a maneuver if you can't rely on that maneuver to stay set? while you pass time until you can make the burn, you know? Just nonsense. I need to even out the fuel in the fuel tanks too. It's not looking good over there. We'll have to do that. But first we need to get... Yes. We're just going to stop right there. Stop it right there, sir. Alright, so let's uh, even out this fuel right quick. Let's see. Alright, let's see if we can make it just a little bit of a burn here to uh, clean up this orbit. Looks like 906 may be the best we can. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> 78,000. I'm kind of tempted to do that. That way I can dip into the Atmo if I want to. Just come into a little bit of a polar. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's try that. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I don't have anything else that's going to happen to mess up this maneuver node. No surprises. I'm going to start about 15 seconds because I'm only going to go about half throttle. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I can bring that on up go a little bit faster here. Mm. Mm, what you doing there, bro? Come on up. Come on up. Alright. What you got here? And... There we go. Boom. You're seeing it. 75. Woo! Not quite dipping into the atmosphere, so... We can always dip into the atmosphere if we need to. Alright, here we go. Now, we need to do a maneuver node here. And we're going to try to create an orbit with, oh god, yeah, it's not, not going to have enough, 1651. Well, I may have to do a little bit of a uh, aero capture after all. Hmm? Let's go, I'm going to do a quick save right quick. And I'm going to go anti-normal. And we're going to see if we can burn this down just a little bit. So that our periapsis is... Dipping into the atmosphere here. Let's do a tiny burn. Just a tiny burn. Oh, 55. Okay. Now, we'll see what that does for us. That'll probably kill us, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Here we go. Two years, 39 days. One eternity later. Coming over the pole here and entering atmosphere. About to finish up our fuel here. About to have no fuel left. We are starting to get really hot already. 
overheating in a major, major way. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Lost her engine. Lost a fuel tank. Lost another fuel tank. We're getting hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, we're spinning. Oh, this is not good. Oh, not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's gonna live? No one. We're going to see if we can just skip through the atmosphere and do a small burn and then do it inc <laughs> incrementally. Uh, burn and burn and burn. Until, um... Uh, until finally we can return to uh, Kerbin. That's what they would do in real life. They wouldn't try to do it all at once. I don't know about a manned mission, but with a satellite. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try it. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and warp up, I guess. To, uh... uh let's retract these things. Get into retrograde position. And we're gonna warp up to the periapsis. And we're gonna do a small burn. Just to see if we can uh, lessen our apoapsis as much as possible. And see if we can survive this 55,000 periapsis height. This is the main thing we're trying here. Okay, let's do a bit of a burn. Oh, it's still pretty hot. Pretty hot still. Well, we don't lose anything critical. I'm fi I'm fine with some losing that engine for for example. Just don't lose anything else. Just survive it. Just survive. All right, we're climbing back up. We are climbing back up. We'll go ahead and continue to the burn just a little bit. And. All right, we lived, barely, but we lived. So I guess uh, let's take a look and see what we got here for our maneuver. We'll probably, we won't be able to, um, once we get here, we won't have another intersection with, with Kerbin. So let's just continue to burn as much as possible, bring that in and see what we can do. Might just save ourselves about uh, 400 delta V or so, so that maybe we can do another burn. Uh, I don't know, but they're alive, and they're not orbiting Jewel; they're orbiting the Sun. So I feel like we can do a rescue mission from here, a rescue of a rescue of a rescue. Yes, I'm that bad at the game, so. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I guess kill the engines now. There we go. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. Will the Kerbals live to see Kerbin again? Will they be rescued? Will they die in a fiery crash? Find out next time on Darth Vegan's channel. <laughs> if you like this episode, please leave a, leave a like leave a comment down below and tell me how awful I am at Kerbal. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Going up beyond the air in this crazy rocket fair
was my bird. Your complications, no doubt to be. I gotta make it to the KSC. Jeb doesn't burn up all his stash. I gotta help him not to crash. Complications, no doubt to be. I gotta make it to the KSC. Jeb already popped his shoes. Every time orbits aren't around 